Hi guys, and good to see you in December. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winning Value Commons. This episode is going to be my December market update for Seattle and all east side locations. And we're going to talk about fears, sellers' fears right now, what sellers thinking, how to sell property in this current market. And also we'll cover buyer sides, how to get best possible deal on today's market. After Fed announced last inflation report, rates dropped for over half percent. From highest peak was in October, 7.08% to 6.33% currently when I'm recording this video in the second week of December. Nationwide application for mortgage rates increased for 2.2%. And this is a great news. You guys can see buyers are very sensitive to mortgage interest rate and monthly payments. Northwest MLS recorded V-shaped recovery for the number of listings available in the market for the buyers. You guys can see with me on the screen, we have V-shaped recovery, it was dropped down from 2018, 19, 20, 2021, it was very low number of listings, but currently in 2022, finally, we matching 2018 numbers. Buyers and sellers continue to stare down on each other. Sellers continue to hold their prices and buyers are waiting for prices to drop. Who is going to finish first? that's going to be determined by mortgage interest rate. We're going to have next Tuesday another meeting for CPI report and we'll see where this inflation is going. If CPI report will come back positive, more likely mortgage rate will improve and will be even lower, which will be helpful for the buyers to buy those homes. If CPI report will come back negative, then we're gonna go to the higher mortgage interest rates through this winter. And let's look together, guys, month supply of inventory for King County and Snohomish County. And you guys can see with me on the screen right now, the orange represents seller's market less than two months of inventory. A green represents balance market between four to six months of inventory. And blue represents the buyer's market where the over four months of inventory. In buyer's market right now, we have in Indemco location, we have Mercer Island and West Bellevue, more than four months of inventory. A majority of King County, North King County, they have balanced market, you guys can see those green colors. And the uh, majority of Snohomish County, North Snohomish County, and South King County, we still have less than two months of inventory, which represents seller's market. Now, let's jump in together to sell this site and look careful to the data, what's available. I'll put it for you guys on the screen, you guys can see with me is site residential data only. We have 2.7 months of inventory by end of this November with a number of listings 768 by end of the month. And we have 283 pending sales. Medium sell price in sales east side $1,316,000 and reduce comparable to a year ago for about 8%. Wow, prices start going to drop. So, and first time you guys can see price drop comparable to a year ago, and price also drop comparable to last three months. For August, September, October, uh, medium sell price was the same sales east side was $1,350,000, but now it's dropped to $1,316,000. We see $34,000 price drop comparable to last three months. And this is very interesting slide, equally for the sellers and for the buyers. You guys can see with me on the screen, in November, we have 10% homes sold above asking price. And comparable to last month in October, we have 15% homes sold above asking price and 26% homes sold below asking price. 54% sellers have to reduce price before they was able to find the buyer. And this is very dramatic change comparable to a year ago to 2021. Uh, when we have 68% homes sold above asking price and only 14% homes have to change price before they was able to find a buyer. But when you guys look on the east side, how much the sellers have to reduce price before they was able to find a buyer? And you guys can see with me on the screen, the price reduction was for about 4%. Now not 10%, not 15%, not 20% like a lot of buyers wish to be happen, but only for about 4%. With medium sell price, $1,316,000, that's about $52,000 per listing. And those 10% of homes had multiple offer situation, sold 2% above asking price 
and that's approximately $25,000 per listing. And now let's jump into Seattle area all residential data. We have two months of inventory by end of November with medium sale price $905,000 and increase for 6% year over year. Comparable to Eastside, Seattle more stable market. Seattle Eastside increased for 45% and then dropped to 25%. They have very big jumps, but Seattle doesn't have those jumps and much more stable market. In Seattle area, 15% homes selling above asking price, and those homes selling above asking price with multiple offers selling about 3% more than asking price. 16% homes selling at asking price, 24% homes have to do price reductions, and they also reduce price for about 3%, only $27,000. We don't have dramatic price drop in Seattle, and uh, those buyers who's looking to price drop 10%, 15%, they have to continue to wish. It's not happening. As I told you before, buyers and sellers turn on each other and sellers doesn't want to reduce prices of property faster and buyers on defense to buy property for current market value. Historical median price equity investment calculator, historical three years mortgage rates between 1971 and 2022. This is national data. This is not local data. People who invest 20% to buy a home between 1973 and 1982, they gain equity 76% from investment. People who invest between 2013 and 2022, $85,000 nationally, they gain 39% on investment. That's why those sellers not jumping to the market to sell property because they do have big equity in the homes and they can wait. Fear buyer, what you can do in this market? You need to prepare for your opportunity. When opportunity will knock on your doors, you need to be ready with your assets. You need to save money for down payment. You need to work on improving your credit score. That's going to be determined your mortgage rate and mortgage payment for next three years. And I believe opportunity will knock to your door this spring. Mortgage interest rate going to be improved. I strongly believe inflation going to be reduced and with inflation reduced, mortgage rate will drop and houses will become more affordable. And if you are a seller, my advice for you guys will be not wait until spring or summer 2023 to list your property. If you're planning to sell your property in the summer or end of the school season 2023, you should list your property in January. It take longer to sell property right now, and you can always negotiate with the buyers and ask for a couple of months rent back to help with your plans. And before we go, I wish you guys Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Enjoy your family, friends, loved ones, enjoy snow, go to the mountains, try to ski, and live your life to the fullest. If you like this episode and find value in it, please smash like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for future episodes. With that, guys, I wish you a great holiday, great new year, enjoy your rest of December, and I hope we're gonna have some snow before the Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next episode in 2023.